Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We are investigating the death of a girl named Faith that we met in the very beginning of this series. So let's go and find out what's going on, right? We know the father. We know what happened to the husband. Apparently the husband, his name is Lawrence, Prince Lawrence. So we need to go investigate him. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? <laughs> Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Um... Should we check up on Toad or check Lauren's apartment? Hmm. You know what? Let's go check up Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. Ooh, glass I'm not looking shoes. forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Bolfin Street. Early morning. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Oh, oh yeah. Is somebody up there? Hey, Toad, is that you? Wait here. Who was up here? Shit. Is that one behind us? I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! What? <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Let's check up that bucket. Probably get that fixed. Oh. <laughs> what kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Yeah, right? Oh, that's a nice drop. Yeah. All right, let's go check out what that noise was. Who's crying? Alright, well, guys, we gotta go there. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Alright. It's white. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. What? What happened? Why was he crying? Sorry, Big v. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry, we're dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Are you hiding something? No, there's something you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Why are you kicking out? I mean, I'm sorry you came what? all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing. Really. I'll leave when I'm ready. When I'm ready, Toad. 
I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut All up. right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Hmm. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? What? It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> He's hiding something. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. What are you hiding there, Toad? What's going on? Hmm. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Right. Let's talk to Tony. I'll need to get a dustpan one of these days. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Hit Can we just start over? Uh, oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me right now what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B, I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Dad! Oh. Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. He's what hiding is something. Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Hmm. Bigby, you didn't. He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip him down to the Johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. Where did old. he go? I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. <laughs> I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Oh, no. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, you steal? Sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. <laughs> Fine bit of dress it is. So you steal them, huh, Toadie? Whoa. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. What the hell is that kind of a cold? Wait. It's like a freaking skinned up deer. Of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Open it. I'm sorry, Faith. 
What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Poor Toad. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Yeah, you're a nice kid, huh? Oh, poor Toady boy. Where's Mommy Toad? You gotta stop smoking that, huh? It's gonna be lung cancer eventually at the end of the scene. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Yeah. So we're going to go to the prince, Prince Lawrence, to find out what's going on. Lawrence's apartment. Early morning. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We need to question Lawrence. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. How is it different? Okay, let's check up the window. What the hell? Dude, he's laying on the floor. Dude, let's check up on him. I think he might be dead. Can you walk faster, buddy? Come on now, there's somebody in there that needs our help. Who knows? Just open the door. Oh, it smells of death, yeah, I smell. Dude, he's not looking so well. Oh, no, did he? Oh, my God. Is he dying? Snow, go get him. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no. him. No! No! Let me go. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Dude, he got roughed up hard. Let's go to the kitchen. Actually, I want to check out the fridge. Pay the rent next week. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Did you find it yet? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, Snow White. What's going on? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Okay, this must be very important. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Can't be Faith. Faith died. Dude, everyone's dying in this game. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We should have given it to him first. We need to figure out what happened here. Find whoever did this. 
Jesus. We got a murderer at loose. Okay, let's check up his head. Somebody must have stabbed him in the head, maybe, from behind. Gun. Oh, we just contaminated the evidence. They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Okay. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. You got shot in the head, maybe? I want to pick up that knife, though. Go down. No. All right, let's pick up that knife. The mirror showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Hmm. Maybe that was a wrong decision. Maybe we should have gone to the prince before Toad. Still a little sticky. Hmm. Might be someone still here. Something left? When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Son of a... What? What is it? Suicide? They're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. What are you taking up? Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Uh -oh. <gasps> Stay here. Oh no. no. Who was that? Hey, stop! Leave me alone! Oh, we gotta open up. Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Uh, we gotta dodge them. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, we gotta catch them, come on. Uh, see, the door seems to open. There's... Oh, wrong one. He almost gave you the slip. Oh, how can he jump that good, though, for someone who's really big? Oh, no. Uh -oh. What do we do? Oh, he's upstairs? Oh, we got him! No, he's not leaving. Ease up, Bippy. 
We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. What are we doing here? Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? I had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. You're covered in blood. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your boss? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, no! Oh, we got cornered. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where did he go? Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. The pride didn't kill him though. Get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. I'm surprised to remember after all that beating. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I don't know who did it. Who do you think did it? I can't tell if you don't know, or just won't say. Why is our cap green? Is it because of the lighting? Thanks for your help. Thanks I for I wish you. there was... <laughs> Sorry. Never mind. Wasn't important. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, it's... It's nothing. I just... What? Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for 
anything needing help. Well, I turn you away. Sad. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Alright, we are in the trip trap. Hopefully we get some answers. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, it looks a little unsafe for your Snow White here. Yeah, maybe I should. Did it say three apples? Big B. <laughs> I... Um, just be careful. Please. Stay silent. Remember, we are a jerk. Remember that. At least... Try. Bye-bye, Snowy. The trip trap. The Bronx. Uh-oh. You don't need to tighten up your tie. This isn't like a freaking business trip. It's a freaking bar. Ooh, who's that beauty? Okay, she doesn't seem very happy to see me. What do you want, Sheriff? Sheriff's business. Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? Being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... Uh, I don't know. Are you hiding something because of that guy? Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Alright guys, you know what? I am gonna call it a video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe for some more content of The Walking Dead. Oh! <laughs> of The Wolf Among Us. I'll see you guys next time.